G'day fellas. If this video has been uploaded in the last six hours, then head over to Twitch TV. I'm streaming live right now. We're going to be climbing the ranked ladder. So come stop by, say good day in the chat, and come have the Aussie Drongo experience live. Anyway, let's get to the vid. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Aussie Drong! Aussie Drong! Uh, oh, would I do a 1v1 yeah. tier list video? Good question. Let me, let me, let me, uh, hold on. I think I can do it like here. All right. The reason why I'm very hesitant to do a one versus one tier list video, because even if you ask the top three players what they think the best sieves are and they think the worst sieves are, they're all going to disagree with each other. My honest opinion at the moment is that there are a lot of civilizations that are competitive at the top level. A huge amount. Like, we're going to cancel Q. I'm just going to go through it and tell you if it's competitive. British, probably a tier one. China, oh, let me turn off music, sorry. Oh, Teach DV. Oh, with the Prime. I'm gonna report this to me, Member of Parliament. Hey, Gus! I got something to report to you. Thank you very, very much, Teach. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alright, so if we were to look through the sieves. British is competitive. Chinese? Sorry, sorry to all my Chinese fans out there. It, it's a good sieve, but it's one of those one dimensional sieves. You know what they're gonna do? It's FI or FF. Always. And they're just not as strong as the top tier sieves. Uh, Inca, probably, it's it's playable. It would be like a B tier. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's let's do a, a sieve tier list right now. The new patch is coming in. The balance is about to be switched. You asked for it. Here it comes. We're doing the tier list. And I'll, I'll break it down. I'll explain why it is. Uh, let's have a look. Tier list. Hey, Push the Woods here. How you doing, Push the Wood? Haven't seen you for a while, man. My wood pusher. All right. I just got to make sure I got the right tier list because there's quite a few different ones that I've got. I've got like my revolution tier list. Uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, here we go. Okay. All right. Now let me get all of them out. Actually, I'll just put them all in D tier to start with. So that you can't see what my previous list was, because for whatever reason, it saves it. All right, now now keep in mind, okay, guys. Uh, is there a dark mode? There's got to be a dark mode for this, right? Uh, presentation mode? There you go. All right. You guys want the chat on screen as well? Actually, chat is on screen, isn't it? All right, cool. Uh, how much time have I spent playing Age of Empires 2? Let's have a look. I think we can check that. Profile? I have spent... Oh, that's Age of Empires 3, Age of Empires 3, 2. Uh, 17.5 hours so far. All right, so... We're going to stop, start with our, our top tier sieves. So just straight out of the gate, uh, France, top tier. Spain, top tier. Brits, top tier. All three of these sieves, competitive. Very competitive. Uh, at, 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 at the top tier, these guys are just right up there. So next up, Germans, ports. Ports are insane right now. You get a water map and your ports, you just... You're fine. Even on land, these guys are huge. They got great options in ATP. Great options. This this is a one v one tier list, by the way. This is this is only one v one. That's a bloody outrage. Oh, thank you very much, Narco Baron. I think ports are incredibly strong on land, just because. They've got a lot of good matchups. They've got ATP and they've got uh, Spice Trade now that's really feeling incredibly good. Um, I'm not sure whether they would be S tier. Probably just A because they're not super duper strong on land. They still feel good. So, you know, I, I think just because on water maps, in like in a tournament setting, they're playable. Hugely playable. Um, other sieves that are probably up here would be the Iroquois. Um, 
the, the Iroquois, amazing FF, amazing semi FF, amazing all in rush. Uh, I don't think there's any S plus at the moment. Uh, even though I know MBT Shock wants the wants the S plus. Uh, yeah, Varfox, there should be a patch hopefully in the next two hours. Alright, so then next up, so Swedes, I... Swedes have got a lot of good matchups, but at the moment, none that are really in favor. Like, Swedes matchup against France is not very good. Against Spain, not very good. Against Brits, not very good. Against Germany, very good. Against uh, Portuguese land, very good. Portuguese water, it's not bad. But, I mean, you just saw that game against Kinesi. Obviously, Kinesi's a lot better than me. But I, I don't think uh, Sweden is on the same level. Definitely not. The problem is, with enough early game pressure, the Sweden is, is really useless. Maybe I just haven't found the right build order for them. Maybe, you know, maybe just a direct FF is, is the, the way that you go. Maybe it's like... Three Vils. What if you did like a delayed... Nah, delayed blueberries wouldn't work. Three Vils, 700 gold into two Falks. No, but then you're just not even using Torps. It just doesn't work. Uh, yeah, game video. There should be a balance patch incoming in the next two hours. At least that that's what my spider senses are telling me. Alright. Um, this is a bit of a contentious one. Ottomans. Pe some people think it's B. Some people think it's S+. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit in the middle. I think it's, it's very competitive. Just because they've got a lot of options. We don't see them as much at the top tier. It, it's hard for me to say that the, these are S tier sieves. I think, like, typically we reserve S tier for, you know, the best tier. And I probably shouldn't be doing that. If, if anything, I should be moving all of these sieves down and getting rid of S+. Plus. That probably makes a lot more sense to do it that way. Because these sieves are all incredibly pay playable uh, at, at the top level. Uh, sieves that aren't playable at the top the top level, or at least not at the moment, that, that don't feel competitive. Uh, so the Dutch, probably chuck them in C tier, maybe even D tier probably. We'll see how we're feeling. Uh, China are in there as well. Uh, Lakota, probably in B tier as well. Otto better than Eero? Yeah, probably. Yep. Two Falks plus Jens. And just wait until you see the 4TC build. Oh my god. Exactly, Heronara. We're not sexist here on this channel. We're not chauvinistic. The Otto men, the Otto women, and the Otto children. Or the Ottoman. And women and children. Amen and a woman, brother. <laughs> uh, no, Dutch aren't, uh, Dutch aren't nerf, or they're not op. And they're not nerfed. Uh, if anything, they need a buff. I saw a really interesting buff suggestion on the forum. Someone said, just give them an envoy every time they age up. Because the um, the Incas get a Chasky every time they age up. So they'll just like, you know, just give them an envoy. Hey, what up? What up, Callan? How you doing, buddy? Uh, and then, so next competitive Civ, Japan. Like, really top tier. Inca up there. And then I'd be putting like India in B tier. And then... See, the thing is, even Otto, like, honestly, they're, they're up in A tier. Like, Otto are seriously, like, uh, sorry, Eero. Eero are seriously fucking good. Yeah, I remember you came in, man. You're a bit salty. You all right? Hey, I saw that hype thread, Callan. You're six foot four, mate. Is, is, I'm assuming on your Tinder, it just says six foot four. Like, there's nothing else. You guys use Tinder in the UK? Literally every Civ is A tier. I'm not even, like, kidding you. Except, like, these sieves down here. I'd probably put... See, this is hard. Like, maybe... It, like, if, if anything, it would look a little bit like this. And it, and it doesn't look perfect, because one sieve should be out here to make it look perfect. But every single one of these sieves, in my opinion, like, at, at a competitive... They use... Oh, they use Grinder in the UK. I think I think maybe Callan uses... Uh, uses nah, that's, that's a joke. It, look, even if he does, it's twenty twenty. It's 2021. It's 2021. We we have no problem with that. You, you picked the wrong guy to tangle with here, mate. The, the, reason, the reason why Sweden 
Aunt B. Let's go to let's go to YouTube right now and just check out the most recent tournament. See if you can find me a single Sweden game in there. And the reason why you can't find a single Sweden game in there is because the top players know how to counter Sweden. And that's why Sweden isn't an A-tier pick. Because every single one of these civilizations will counter Sweden at the top level if they are up against that civilization. And so that that's just simply why they're B-tier. Once they get to Fortress, they're fine because they can ship Snaplock, they ship two Falks, and they can hold. I mean, obviously, unless you're up against Piroshiki, it's very 50-50 on, uh, on how he plays. But if I was going to do a tier list, it would look something like this. All right, Jack VZ. It, it would just, it would look something like this. Like, obviously, every, everyone's, something to remember about tier lists, okay, is everyone's got their own biases. Yo, you picked the wrong guy to tangle Sweden here, mate. could potentially be S tier, but just because I play Sweden, I feel like they're B tier. Obviously, I, I have other consideriza considerations, considerations other than that. Wasn't there a Sweden game in the GUA versus April series? Was that a best of 16 round, I think? Who played Sweden? Was there actually? If there, if there was, I, I need to like cast it and see what's going on right now. Uh, let me check. Give you anxiety. Anxiety versus April. Oh, I don't think he, w he was going by April though, was he? Um, it's on the a ESOC... TV channel, isn't it? Yeah, here we go. Oh, this is two months ago. So let's start this up. Okay, it's Brits. I'm assuming it's a Brit mirror. It's a Brit mirror. First game is Brit mirror. Oh, you're fucking right. Someone played Sweden. Boys, we gotta watch this. We we just gotta watch this for the content. We gotta see like what was the build? What happened? Is that you, Callan? That's you, isn't it? Interesting matchup. I don't know. So April actually played Sweden. That's good. I haven't seen him play Swedens before. Okay. So he puts a second top up. And he's going three vills first on Sweden. So I'm assuming... Okay. The Aussie Drongo Walls? <laughs> oh, Callan, you're too sweet, baby. You're too sweet. In-base racks from GUA. This is going to be a long game, isn't it? 130 tall population at 70, but no blueberries, but still pretty pretty good. You don't need blueberries. That's true. I would have really liked to honestly seen some like quirks type fills on this forward line. Yep, agree. Even I have seen and uh you force your opponent to musketeer advantage. So even even at this point, I would say the GUA isn't countering April the correct way. Just exactly as Callan said right there, you would expect to see. Um, I don't want to diss GUA. He might he just might not have a lot of experience in this matchup. Because the thing is, like, ideally you want to have a mana on every single mine. You're not with your manners. You're not blocking the torps from going down. You're having line of sight. And all you want is line of sight on every single mine on the map. And then as soon as you see Vilg there, you just send your military units. So I wouldn't be surprised if he actually loses this game. Just because of how far... Yeah, he's already up. I mean, Jiwei's up, well, up by 4k. But he's Brits. They have a high score. Snaplock's in there. Oh, and he's got... GUA with the foul or with the calves as well. Has, uh, I mean, the, the British players. Looks like he's gonna tie this here. Uh, 
Oh, well, GA has got a 7k score lead. Okay, so he's done really well. Okay, so he lost. Um, okay, interesting. Well, I, I recall my previous statement. Uh, there was a Sweden game in the last tournament. Unfortunately, Sweden didn't win. Didn't look like a particularly close match, but I think April obviously not taking blueberries um, and still being able to get that many manners up or that many torps up. Obviously, it would have been beneficial for him to do that, but that's that's really cool. Um, is that the only game of Sweden that we've actually seen from that tournament, though? I would suspect so. All right, sorry, fellas. Let me just uh, catch up with chat. Let's having a bit of fun there. Where are we at? Sam played them. When did Sam play them? No way. Okay. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure it would have been a stomp. I mean. I, I actually did a uh, a recent it was a bit a bit of like a long form podcast with uh, with GK Shaman. Uh, why does no one play Howard? Good question. Probably because they can't take ex advantage of the greed meta as much as the other civs can. Uh Haza Haza's the best one v one player at the moment, in my opinion. Zanir played Swedes. Handsome twink. Didn't you see my music video from today, baby? Or you want to see the next one? I, I just released a brand new music video today. Because uh, they can punish greed. That's why auto is so high. Um, Fish 44 or 42 plays, uh, plays a lot of autos. So that, that's what my, t my tier list would look like. Oh, sorry. I didn't see Christico. Sorry. Let me, I'll go up and look for you. Uh, how long ago was your question? Uh, will I ever have some kind of Q&A? Yeah, I don't, yeah, we can do a Q&A. Is, is, is that question part of the question? An answer? <laughs> we can, I, I saw your comment, you said, uh, you got a bump, who'd you say? French, Spain, and Germany up into TRS? I, I would probably agree with that. I'd, I'd say... These three sieves. I'd, I'd probably even say Brits as well. Could be up in TS, S tier. Uh, j like, Brits are... I feel like they're almost... I don't know, what, what do you think about that? <laughs> that would be pretty funny, A's. Yeah, I, I think like something like this is like pretty much what the balance is at the moment. They, these sieves are just like very, very strong. Ports is like, just because of how strong ports is on land, ports like honestly used to be like a C tier sieve just because on water maps, they're insane. On land maps, they're shit house. But with the spice trade build as well as ATP just being so strong at the moment, it's, it's like, it's an A tier sieve in my opinion. Uh, so that, that's what I would say is is the 1v1 tier list. 